Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School. I'd like to discuss a weaving project with you today, but I'd like to step back in time for a minute and have a little bit of a discussion about weaving in general. I noticed that these videos aren't getting the views that my more testosterone-based videos like knives and axes and things like that get, but that's okay. I think it's important, so for those that want to learn, they'll tune in and watch these videos. Weaving is a very, very important skill for self-reliance. And if you go back thousands of years, weaving was used to make not only articles of clothing, but also for making things like packs, making things like straps, making things like bags and sheaths. And going back and looking at Oats of the Iceman, and that's what we're gonna talk about today, Oats of the Iceman had a sheath for his knife, and his knife was very similar to this stone knife that I have here. It has a stone blade, this one has an antler handle, his was made of wood. It's lashed on with animal sinew and sealed with pitch. And this one has a deer leg sheath with a deer neck strap. Oatsy's sheath was woven very similar to this from natural material. A little bit different than this, not quite as sophisticated. We're gonna talk about that today. And this is a project that I did, and posted pictures online. This is my open L knife in here. And I just wove this around a form object. And this base of weaving like this can be transferred to the woods to a four inch size sapling. And things like splits or vines or cattails could be woven around that in fashion just like this to make an arrow quiver. So once you learn the concepts of the weaving, the projects are really only left to your imagination. And Ochi carried several woven objects. It was believed that he had a net that went around his pack frame. He also had a woven grass mat that was believed to have been his outer garment. He had a woven knife sheath which we're gonna talk about today. So we're going to take some natural material and we're gonna hand weave a knife sheath for this knife in Oats of the Iceman fashion. Stay with me. Okay, so let's discuss real quick material. Obviously, Oats used natural material off the landscape to make his things with, and winter time is not the best time to harvest those type materials. Vines, barks, all of those things are best harvested in the springtime when they're nice and supple or when the sap is running. You can get things like spruce roots and things even in the winter, but even they are more brittle in the winter than they are in the spring and summer of the year. So what we're going to use to replicate those natural materials is a natural material that's pre-made. We're going to use some lengths of hemp rope, and this is just stuff that I've cut off from other projects. And then we're going to use some hemp cordage. So we're using natural material and hemp to replicate Oatsy's knife sheath today. So I'm going to get the camera repositioned and I'll start showing you how this was done. Stay with me. Okay, so I'm going to kind of try to shoot this over the shoulder fashion for you. I've got a pretty good length, shouldn't say pretty good, three or four feet of hemp here we're going to start with on the short, small diameter stuff. And then I've got several just pieces replicating cut pieces of natural material to begin with here in the bigger stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start piecing these together and I'm kind of grabbing similar sizes here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this first piece and we're gonna divide it in half, just like this. And that is going to be the beginning here. And we're gonna leave ourselves a little bit of tail sticking up here so that we can fold this over on the second pass. And all we're going to do is we're gonna take that loop and we're gonna twist it just like that tight against that rope and then we're going to hold it and place another strand in at the same length just like that at the top I'm not worried about my bottom length right now I can trim that later and then I'm going to twist it again and I'm twisting it the same way every time right now which is away from me and I'm putting in successive pieces as I go pulling it together push it in there tight twisting it away and then holding on to it putting another piece in snugging it up tight twisting it away and I'm going to continue to do that until I get enough length that I can turn this basically in half and make the circle 
for my knife sheath. And then I'm going to make that circle and go around the other way and we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, so you can see what we're starting to get here. We've got an interwoven series of these strands. And we've got to keep going with this until we get enough that we can fold this in half and get our knife down inside. So we're going to need a couple more of these fibers on the outside here, like this. And again, we just continue to put those in, twist away. Put one in. Twist away, just like this. Every once in a while, just checking for size. I think we're getting pretty close to what we want now. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this thing in half like this. And we're going to go back right over the top, just like this. We're going to feed that one in. And again, we're going to twist away. Just like that. Then we're going to find the next one, and we're going to put that in between. Pull it up tight, just like that, and we're going to twist away, just like this. So now we're doubling this up on the top. We put another fiber in. Okay, so I'm to the point now where I've went all the way around. I've just tied it off here at this end with two rows here just so you can see where I'm at. Now I suspect from looking at the drawings that when, or looking at the photographs, that when Otsi did this, he started with a long enough piece of fiber that he could fold this in half right off the bat. And he probably started in the middle and then folded the whole thing in half so he was weaving two fibers at a time. I didn't have long enough fibers to do that with, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take now and I'm going to fold this next, when I start to go back the other, or around this other side, I'm going to fold this in half, like this, and go around it. And that's going to finish that upper edge, just like this. So every one that I do from here on out will be folded in half like this, and my upper edge will have a knot there, where it's folded over on itself. So that's going to give me something that looks like this at the top. I'll have a couple arches at the top of mine where Otsi's probably didn't have that. According to the pictures, it looks to me like he just folded his in half. Mine will kind of look like that when it's done, although it won't be exactly like that.
Well, guys, I apologize if the sound went south in this video somewhere. I lost my external mic batteries and didn't realize it. I'll put music to it if I have to. But again, you know, our OT knife sheath turned out very, very good. Weaving by hand, weaving on a loom, all of those things are thousands of years old. They're timeless skills, and they're skills that we should practice to become more wilderness self-reliant. I thank you for joining me for this video. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.